All right, let's keep it together. Oh, this is uh, not the sprint that I was in, because this is a 40 minute race. Seems like there's a different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is a different race. We're gonna have to get a pit stop in there. This, uh, oh boy. It's not the sprint or I don't know what series we're actually in right now. Wow, he just straight up took off track. What, and disappeared? We need to close the gap to the guy ahead. That was weird. That was really weird. Uh huh. He was just like, no, I'm done. He's out. <laughs> I didn't notice if there was a disconnect. Did you see if there was a disconnect or anything? seeing a disconnected due to serve incoming pack loss so that's a possibility too but yeah it was probably probably saw that it was a 40 minute race and was like oops i'm in the wrong series that's a possibility <laughs> 40 minute means we need to be very careful at this start because we have the potential to lose a lot we have the potential to get wrecked out entirely. And with 40 minutes, loads of time, that's why it would be almost better to start from the pits. And a longer race, you gotta, safety pays off more, so. This guy behind trying to warm up. At least I'm on the outside, so I could be generous on the start here. Let people through on the inside a lot if they're looking for a dive. on the brakes too early. One guy off track already and possibly going to be a disaster when he rejoins. Already accordioning up here. Nice start, mate. Well done. Careful with the dirt. Early breaking. Let people get in too deep because they think they can dive. Ha. Of course, that was a stupid move on his part, probably. I didn't get a good look at it from behind, but it looked like he probably was looking to try to get up the inside on a dive like that. Terrible idea. guys breaking is going to be unknown Hope 
hopefully this group pulls ahead and I can stay on their tail because I'd rather just have to worry about them and not the people behind. Got in too hot. At least I didn't rear end anyone. One mistake there. We're gonna be fighting for a bit. Hopefully it doesn't slow us down too much. Got a little bit eager. I need to remember that this pace is gonna be all over the place. shrinking slowly-ish. Although he's getting a gap behind him, so maybe if he gets around me, it won't be too much of a loss. One guy looks like he's going too wide. Uh, looks like he was just letting that guy by. And he's into half a second behind range. Okay, Adam, the next car is Gotta Chambers. watch out for him. The guy behind has just done a 202.57. You cut the track. Keep it nice and tidy. Good, he backed out of that, but I kind of was not defending enough. He's got the run. Go ahead and take to the left. Left side, clear left. You might make a mistake. Oh my goodness, didn't want to turn at all there, did it? Carlson was the one I was worried about before, so I want to be careful with him too. careful with him. Might have just been cold tires, but I don't want to risk someone who's making that kind of early risky move. Okay, Adam, don't let this guy distract you. Closer to me than I am to Diego, so it could go poorly if I'm not careful. A little bit too hot through there. Amazing that I didn't just completely die there, though. This car does not recover from a uh, oversteer well at all. P6. Partially locked too. Oh, too deep for some. I don't know. I just understeer really got me through there that time. Yes, maybe the tires are starting to go off, but that'd be very early, I think. Right. 
getting spicy now. fixed setup so everyone should have to pit I think this is a fixed setup I actually didn't check on that but uh if it's a fixed setup other people should have to pit too what I will say is I'm thinking about maybe going for a moderately early pit because uh, if I got Sebastian behind me the whole time I'm worried eventually going to lose patience. See, that was bad. I don't know what's going on there with my understeer, but something's up. The car just Depends feels different than last race. Good. That's true, but uh, that makes him more dangerous in a sense. It does mean that he might have to slow down to deal with it, though. Didn't get my braking right or my weight transfer right through there. Needed to be a little bit slower to make it through the turn and get on the throttle earlier. Losing the guys ahead. He was closer. I would consider letting him by but it's awfully close. All right, I'll let him around there on the outside. He's still there. Still there. Car left. All right, let these both around on the outside. They have a chance of getting themselves into trouble anyway. P8, come on, get your head back into it. Keep it smooth. Focus on these lines. As long as we're not losing the people ahead, I'm not too upset. We'll probably want to be a little bit slower in the braking zone since we don't have to defend now. And that'll probably help with my understeer that I've been dealing with. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 0.9. I think you're right. I think it is just to keep it together, keep driving. And uh, don't make mistakes because there's still a lot of race left. Good luck, Richard. Sorry, sorry, really sorry. I've raced Ricardo before when he was doing skippies. I think. One slide. There's an incident in Gender Bien. You think it might be Carlson? Carlson's done. Alright, let's see if we can get around this guy then. Uh, we'll wait until the 20 minute mark. We'll see if we can get around this guy on just a comfortable pace and then. Then from there, we'll see. Thank you, I appreciate it, man. Feels like it's uh, reasonably well managed right now. B8, 
bisa still making some definite lines mistakes on the line that I need to be fixing and I keep having this understeer issue that I just don't know what's come where it's coming from because it wasn't an issue last right, race so I don't know all right pit window is open that's cool we'll get a few more laps in it doesn't look like I'm going to catch McGrath though unless he makes a mistake as well If I, break, if I sort out my breaking points, I won't be having as much issue with the line anyway. Mistake. All right, Adam, you've got half your fuel left. The gap in front is now 2.8 seconds. I think P5 has been there in. Chris Denson. Now 5.6. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I'll be stuck in a lot of traffic, but I don't know if that might be better. I'm not fighting up a year ahead, so... This guy's kind of off. They might be pushing themselves while long on fuel then. driving uh, tire management at this point. Tires are a little worn down and I want to avoid it speeding that up. True, if they're fighting, their pace is going to probably be slower. Of course, I just don't really like the idea of being stuck behind them once they, once I pit. out for this guy. He just seems to make the occasional mistake that's going to be a risk if I'm following too close. About five laps of fuel. Yep. Keep following this guy, his pace is decent enough. Oops, off track. Pay attention to track limits, please, Adam. Oh, the gap behind is already 10 seconds almost. 
That's Gambit good. Just increased to 1.37. Yeah, we're going as long as we can on fuel then. I don't believe so, but I can turn it on. I can just say fuel to the end. Got a little moment there. He's probably struggling with tires, if I were to guess. He's just not comfortable with where the grip's at right now. within 10 seconds behind, so we're in a good position. Yeah, tire managed this, this race. Yep, there's the slide. Six has gone off in sunset. Thank you for holding your brakes. 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Sixth place. Yeah, these tires are definitely feeling worn down. Oh, stay on the track. The gap behind has increased to 4.9. This is a good basic strategy, not terribly risky. Only issue would be if we were to come out in really bad traffic. There's a possibility that maybe this isn't a fixed race and I started us with too little fuel. That's 20 minutes to go. Okay, Adam, we're halfway through. We think about eight minutes of fuel remaining. But a 40-minute race is a long time to go without fueling, so I kind of doubt that people are doing a no-pit strategy. The ahead is now 5.5. We're not going to get a much better than this, especially if I'm going to keep these tires together. Someone's pitted. So we know that people are starting to pit. Where are we at on? How's my fuel? How is my fuel? start including a fuel calculator too. Yeah, this is a good one. We're holding very well right now. We'll still have to see after the after the pit stop though. Chief hasn't updated me on fuel in a bit, but he always does, so... Oh, I did not need to break there. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 6.1. All right. Four long. 
wrong, though. I might just be pitting because I don't want to get myself nervous about fuel. We haven't got anyone coming out in front of us, at least. Okay, Adam, just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good. P4. That was a 204.58. That sounds good. I agree with you. I think this is the lap to pit. Tires are definitely getting the, their worn down a bit. Two laps of fuel left. Perfect. Box fuel to the end. The fuel you to the end of the race. Are you? We've had two people pit already That's at least. Fuel left. This is a good time yeah, to pit. So now behind is now 7.7. And the guys behind, they might follow into the pits, in which case we're really good. Or even better, they don't follow into the pits and do it the next time. I'll, I think we have it without having to worry about it. I think it's automatic, but I will be paying attention because that's a good call since we are in a different series than last time. Oh, a little bit out little bit out wide on the entry. It's enough to make me nervous. Yeah, this is good. Chance I might have traffic, but I probably am just going on tire management anyway. Entry. Stay on it. This isn't over yet. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Nope. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Okay, there is the pit, pit speed, speed limiter. limiter. It is 72 kilometers per hour. Where's my pit box? Limiter. Where is my pit box? I don't see it. Am I that far up? In the fourth position? Where am I at? There I am. Good. All right. second gap behind. We're going to get to a little bit of traffic from behind then. Just stay on the track. Looks like his pace is not enough to catch me anyway, so. Hopefully they need to pit. Yeah, this is like down in the 13th position range, so yeah, we're not giving him the position. His pace should be too slow for me to put up with. Seven point six second gap ahead. Yeah, this is perfect. I can just run in this air. I can try to shake the guy behind a little bit. Hopefully he decides to pit because of me though. And then we can just manage tires the whole way. Which I don't properly know how to manage tires. I just try to ease off the pace a bit, at least for the fronts. All right, 27 minutes down, 13 to go then. Come on, 
on Pit Buddy. Yes, he's going into the pits. I got to do a bit of trail braking. That's essential for the front, but... But I don't have to be aggressive about it. I can make it gentler. And the rears are starting to feel worn out as well, so I guess I need to be a little bit more careful about getting on the throttle as well. The truck temps increasing. It's now 41 Celsius. The guy behind you really knew it. The gap's now 2.1 seconds. Silver. The guy in front is silver. Maybe he just ran out of fuel or something. Hope the guy behind needs the pit. He's got a lot of run, of course. Let him through then. On your right, right side's clear. Doesn't look like he needed to pit this lap at least. That might be a net position loss, but that's okay, I gotta just manage the tires, okay, manage Adam, a decent pace. Okay, about the lap times, so just hit each and every apex. Ten minutes remaining, ten minutes. Last five minutes, we'll be pretty sure to know one way or the other. Oh, come on, get turned in. Let him get around me. If he goes for it, I'll let him around. My tires the way they are. If anyone like goes for it, it. I'm going to let them around. I don't have the grip to feel comfortable with defending. Keep it together then. No panic, no heroics. Yeah, Carter Signey at third, he has to be the, uh, he has to have not pitted yet. David Spaulding up ahead might have pitted already, though. I got front end damage, so I'm safe to be taking on the inside. The guy behind is now 0.6. Seventh position. That was a 204.49. He had an absolute run on me, and I had to make sure he got around me. Sorry, I didn't catch that. All right, whatever. I'll just follow. Oh, 
That was him coming back out of the pits, I believe. That's why he was third. He was still on his outlap from being in the pits. So yeah, that's a position down. Maybe two positions down net, but seventh is pretty good. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 1.0. There's still maybe one or two more people that need to pit. Maybe. Probably not at this point. I wouldn't leave my pit window to that late either, so. Ah, yeah, good call. Or at the very least, I know I'm not gonna fight with bad tires, so. Daryl Hartley behind is uh, not gonna catch me unless I make a mistake, I don't think. So up ahead, if they get close enough, they might have a fight, but it would be a little bit weird if they did get close enough, honestly. Seems like Carter Stigney is giving him a decent gap. Eighth place. Temperature is falling. It's now 39 Celsius. Yep, although I can't tell how tight the field is ahead of P5, so we don't know if anything's going to happen there. Everyone's pretty spaced out, it looks like, so I don't think that we're going to get a lot of fighting out of this race now. someone I just could not work around, like a big pack or something like that. That'd be the only reason I think I would want to pit early. 4.6 behind, we're still holding pretty well for this. Dring is out, but I don't think he was ahead of me, so... Just decreasing. It's now 37 Celsius. sprint wait why is this sprint 40 minutes long technically still a sprint but it's not the one we thought it was <laughs> well you know it's not like endurance they have the sprint in the endurance series but I think that's on the IMSA side. It's like the IMSA Haggerty Sprint is, I believe, 40 minutes. Oh, okay, good. I didn't get an off. I was worried I was going to get an off track or a slowdown going over that much curb. 
Daryl is still over four seconds behind, so I should be good there. Unless he's just been doing phenomenal tire saving, in which case I'm probably screwed, but... Two minutes to go, two minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's like looking, it's like, wait, 40 minutes, what? Two laps of fuel left. Uh, and we haven't got white flagged yet, so that's okay. We should be good. And if, uh, if this goes a little long, then we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, Adam. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. So that is about... Okay, we definitely got the fuel, even if... The race goes one lap longer. Should be, yep, yep. There's no way that P P1 is getting done uh, in the next minute. I'm in too hot and too deep, but I got it slowed down. That's where we're at. There we go. Excellent. Looks like the P4 has been dead in. Preston, so P7, last lap. P4, bend Very it. Very little fuel left. He's slowing down to pay attention, or...? You out of fuel? Out of fuel, brother. Um, I mean, that's a shame. Good luck. Thank you. Shoo! Well, hey. Probably had two people try to run it to the end and didn't manage it. Still got a person in less than two seconds behind, so I need to not slow down unless I get an absolute on fumes. Ali, they just been disqualified. <laughs> We're running on fumes, mate. Well, we've got barely anywhere to go, so... We could coast it in. We would lose some positions, but we could. 20 liters are enough to change the rate. Yeah, this would have been a rough one on that front. Alright, take it a little easy into this. Fuel, less than half a liter left, or about a half a liter left. There's an incident in Christensen. It looks like Chambers. That was P6. solid. Okay, P6. It's over. excellent. Good drive. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, hey, you know, you did an excellent job crew chiefing for me, so. Jim's pretty good, but you know, he's got his limits. He at least put in enough fuel for me.